Ever wondered how deep a lion's roar can resonate in the wild? Imagine if you will, the sun setting over the vast savannas of Africa, the air heavy with a sense of anticipation. Suddenly the silence is broken by a deep resonating roar that echoes across the terrain. This is the voice of the lion, the undisputed king of the jungle. Lions have held a special place in our hearts and minds for centuries. Their majestic appearance coupled with their fearless demeanor has earned them a reputation that's as awe-inspiring as it is formidable. They are symbols of strength and courage, admired and respected across cultures. But have you ever wondered how they earned this title? How did these creatures become the king of the jungle? Well, the answer lies not just in their physical prowess, but also in their intricate social structures and complex behaviors. But there's so much more to these majestic creatures than meets the eye. Ready to delve deeper? Did you know a lion's roar can be heard up to 8 kilometers away? It's an incredible fact, isn't it? But the lion's roar is not just about the raw power of sound, it's a crucial tool for communication and establishing territory among these majestic creatures. Now let's dive into the roaring truth about lions. The lion's roar is a signature sound in the wild. It's a symbol of power and dominance, a clear signal to all who hear it that a lion is in the vicinity. But it's not just about showing off. The roar of a lion has a vital role in their social structure and survival. Think of a lion's roar as their very own calling card. Each roar is unique, like a fingerprint, helping other lions identify who's who in the vast expanses of the savanna. When a lion roars, it's sending a message. It could be a young male challenging an older one for control of the pride, or a lioness calling out to her cubs. The roar also serves as a boundary marker. A lion's roar can be heard far and wide and this helps to establish their territory. When a lion roars it's telling other lions, this is my land, stay away. It's a warning, a proclamation and an assertion of their dominance all rolled into one. Interestingly, lions are the only members of the big cat family that roar in a chorus. This coordinated effort helps amplify their message and is another testament to the social nature of these animals. But how does a lion's roar differ from other big cats? The answer lies in the structure of their vocal cords. Unlike other big cats, lions have a uniquely shaped larynx and specially adapted vocal cords that allow them to produce their deep, resonant roars. This is one of the factors that sets lions apart from their fellow feline predators. So, the next time you hear a thunderous roar, remember, it could be the king marking his presence. And that, my friends, is the roaring truth about lions. What makes a lion's pride unique in the animal kingdom. Well, let's dive into this, shall we? The social structure of a lion's pride is one of the most fascinating aspects of these majestic beasts. Unlike most big cats, which prefer to live in solitude, lions are incredibly social creatures. They live in groups known as prides, which typically consist of about 15 members, including several adult females, their offspring, and a few males. One of the most striking features of a lion's pride is its matriarchal nature. Yes, you heard that right, the females are in charge, the lionesses, the adult females of the pride, are the primary hunters and protectors of the group. They work together, in a highly coordinated fashion to bring down their prey, which can be anything from a tiny warthog to a hefty wildebeest. The role of the male lions on the other hand, is to protect the pride's territory from other males. Their imposing manes, their loud roars, their fierce fights, everything is geared towards ensuring the safety and survival of their pride. Once a male lion reaches maturity, he often leaves his birth pride to seek out another pride to take over, or to start his own. This ensures the genetic diversity within the pride, and prevents inbreeding. But don't let their tough exterior fool you. These male lions are also nurturing fathers, often seen playing with and caring for the cubs. After all, these are their future heirs, the next generation of the pride. And so, the pride thrives, each member playing their part in the survival and success of the group. It's a complex dance, a delicate balance of power and responsibility, love and survival, all woven together to create a society that is unique in the animal kingdom. Indeed, unity is strength and lions sure know how to leverage it. They truly are the embodiment of the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. In their case, it takes a pride to raise a cub, to hunt, to survive, and to reign as the king of the jungle. Ever wondered what's on a lion's menu in the wild? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of the lion's diet and see how these majestic creatures maintain their reign as the apex predators of the African savanna. 
Lions are carnivores, which means they eat meat. They primarily feast on large ungulates such as zebras, wildebeest and antelopes. But they're not picky eaters. In fact, they're considered opportunistic predators, meaning they'll eat just about any animal they can catch and kill including birds, reptiles and even rodents. But securing a meal isn't always easy for a lion. Despite their formidable reputation, lions are not always successful hunters. In fact, they only succeed in capturing their prey in about one out of every four hunting attempts. This is why lions often work together in coordinated groups, or prides when hunting. Their collective effort significantly increases their chances of making a kill. But what happens when a lion finally catches its prey? Well, it's time for a feast. Lions can consume an astonishing 40 to 50 pounds of meat in a single meal. That's like eating over 200 hamburgers at once. After such a hefty meal, Lions may go several days without eating again. However, this feast or famine lifestyle plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance in the ecosystem. By controlling the population of herbivores, lions prevent overgrazing which could lead to habitat degradation. Their leftovers also provide meals for scavengers like hyenas and vultures, further contributing to the biodiversity of the savanna. Yet, despite their status as apex predators, lions face their own struggles for survival. They constantly have to defend their kills from other predators, and even from members of their own pride. And when food is scarce, they have to endure periods of hunger. So, a lion's life is not all about lazing around, it's a constant fight for survival. Their diet reflects this struggle, a testament to their resilience and their pivotal role in the circle of life. Despite being the king, lions face threats too. But from who you might wonder? Well, it may surprise you to learn that one of the biggest threats to our regal lions is habitat loss. As human populations expand and agricultural activities increase, the natural habitats of lions are shrinking. Their domains, once vast and sprawling, are being reduced to small pockets of land. This loss of territory not only limits the space in which lions can roam freely, but it also impacts their access to prey, making it harder for them to survive. Then there's the issue of human-wildlife conflict. As lions' territories shrink, they come into closer contact with human settlements. When hungry lions venture into human territories in search of food, they often come into conflict with humans, resulting in fatalities on both sides. It's a tragic situation that highlights the delicate balance of coexistence. But perhaps the most sinister threat facing lions comes from poaching. These magnificent creatures are hunted for their body parts, which are sold on the black market for traditional medicine and trophy hunting. This illegal trade is a direct blow to the lion population, decimating their numbers and pushing them closer to the brink of extinction. Yet, all is not lost. Conservation efforts are in full swing to protect these majestic animals. Through the establishment of protected areas, implementation of stricter laws against poaching, and education of local communities about the importance of wildlife conservation, we can hope to turn the tide. Organizations worldwide are working tirelessly to mitigate human-lion conflicts, promote sustainable land use practices and fight against illegal wildlife trade. With these measures in place we can help ensure that the king of the jungle continues to rule for generations to come. Indeed every king faces battles, but when it comes to the lion, the battle is not just for the throne but for survival. The threats are real, but so is our determination to protect these royal beasts. Even kings have their battles, don't they? So, what legacy does the king of the jungle leave behind? As we journeyed through the life of the lion, we learned a lot about these majestic creatures. They are not just the rulers of the animal kingdom, but they are also the backbone of the ecosystem. From their thunderous roars echoing across the plains, to their critical role in maintaining balance in their environment, lions are symbols of strength, courage, and unity. Their complex social structures, known as prides, show us a side of lions we rarely get to see. They are not solitary hunters but rather cooperative beings who rely on each other for survival. Their diet also plays a significant role in the ecosystem, helping to control the populations of other species. Unfortunately, their reign is under threat, making conservation efforts more crucial than ever. The next time you think of a lion, remember, they are not just the kings of the jungle, they are symbols of strength, courage and unity. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for similar content. See you in the next video.